Where are all my Southern Charm fans at? I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for a new season with all new storylines and more lighthearted, funny entertainment. Whew. Last season went straight race and politics, didn't it? Look now, I understand it was addressing real life issues, but a lot of the issues were pressed a little much, in my opinion. I think a lot of us can agree when we turn on our favorite reality shows, it's because we want to chill, laugh, and be thoroughly entertained while some call it escaping their own reality and real world issues. Since we have no confirmation on a season premiere, hell, we ain't got confirmation on a new season yet, now we're going to play catch up and discuss the cast of Southern Charm and we're just going to talk about what they've been up to. Now let's start with the one who has been busier than Andy Cohen at Bravo, Craig Canover. Y'all, we need to give Craig the underdog award because everybody, including myself, didn't expect much out of Craig. But y'all, not only do him and Austin have a successful podcast called Pillows and Beer, Craig has opened a store for his Sewing Down South company, which appears to be booming. He also apparently finally passed the bar. And y'all get this. Craig done opened a whole law firm. Craig over here singing. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. Kudos and congrats to him. Now, let's talk about the love life, shall we? Craig was rumored to be with the chick that was on Love Connection that one time, but and however, I've not seen her in many recent posts, but you know who I have been seeing? Kristen Cavallari. Yes, y'all. Now, Kristen recently was in some drama with Madison over posting with Austin after Madison posted with Kristen's ex, Jay. It was a whole mess, but if we all remember, Kristen was on the Pillows and Bear podcast where she said she originally slid into Craig's DMs and she's been hanging out a lot with Craig, so I don't know. Now, Craig has a type, and she does too, and they both seem to fit each other's description, so let me know what you think in the comments. Now, Austin is still slinging his beer, and apparently it's doing pretty good. One thing I have noticed is this cast is some jet setters, y'all. They stay traveling. Golfing. Hanging out on the beach. They're here and there. they skiing. They're doing all kind of stuff. they buying houses. Y'all. Now, I don't know what the tea is on the alleged new crossover show, Winter House, but Austin has been rumored to be involved with the show and a fellow castmate. We do know he recently purchased a home, so congrats on that. Now, I would have thought we'd be seeing Shep and Taylor purchasing their first home together. And that may be about to happen, considering Shep recently sold his home. Him and Taylor are still thick as thieves, and I'm here for it. Taylor seems to really balance Shep out and settle him down, and I think she's really good for him. I like her. I hope we see more of her on the show. Hey, we could replace Madison with Taylor as a full-time cast member. Speaking of, Madison got a new man. <laughs> I know, I know, shocker. But, y'all, yeah, this guy allegedly is not in the entertainment industry, which is new for her. And he's a mystery. For now. Madison just recently posted pics of her and her new boo making things Instagram official. Now, she also recently opened up about the mystery fella to a few different outlets because we all know Madison loves the spotlight and Madison stays talking to some outlets, y'all. Y'all, you can just tell a lot of these reality stars are clout chasers and attention seekers by counting how many interviews they do, how many different interviews they do. I'm like, child, <laughs> girl. <laughs> okay. Madison recently told U.S. Weekly, I think, if we had it his way, I would probably not do it. She's talking about the show. 
The Greenville, South Carolina native said on Tuesday, June 15th, noting her new beau, didn't know she was on TV until a recent trip to see him and his family. Y'all, you ain't got to watch the show to have heard of her because she's done been all over E! News and everywhere else breaking it, allegedly, being the reason why A-Rod and J-Lo broke up. Mm-hmm. This week, I went to visit him and met all of his friends and his family, and they didn't know until we were sitting at the table, and the pepper shaker girl comes over, and she's like, are you Madison LaCroix, the girl with the fresh ground pepper? She blew my cover. Y'all, y'all, I'm sitting here holding my head right now, because I'm like, Madison, don't nobody believe it. Don't nobody, put, girl, you probably told them first off, I'm on this show, do you not know who I am? <laughs> She said, I just kept it private because I wanted to have a fair shot at being in love and like having no outside opinion. But I also am not going to hide my life because of trolls or people on social media who want to speak my narrative. We kept it quiet for a while until I met all of his friends and it was a large group of people who knew. We have adult conversations. We talk about the future and we have the type, the same kind of ideas about where we want our lives to go she said when i was married before you have to remember i was 19 20 years old it was a different kind of love and this is something that just feels right he always opens my door for me and in my opinion he puts me before myself and i'm not used to that either I kind of have always been the one being like, oh, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. You didn't have to tell us that. We already knew. The TV personality explained, he's not a big drinker, definitely not a partier at all, which I love. He makes me want to be a better person. Hey, that's always good. That's always good no matter who you are. It's been so nice to actually be with someone where I'm not worried about what's happening on the internet about me because I'm occupied with the man of my dreams. I'm not on my phone. I'm busy living my best life. Well, you go, girl. (laughs) You go, girl. So, let's move things right along to my OG favorite cast member, Catherine. Look now. Say what you want, Catherine is some good TV. She is clueless. <laughs> y'all, y'all know she's clueless. And I am living every time she's on my screen. Look now. Some of these reality TV stars remind me of Disney characters and OMG, I'm here for it. Catherine is way up at the tip top of that list. Catherine has transformed, though, into a totally different person now. Well, the exterior. <laughs> I swear, y'all, her new blonde short bob, you know, that she's got, it reminds me of Whitney Rose from the Housewives of Salt Lake City. Oh, my God, y'all. They look just alike with that short blonde hair. To me, they do. Catherine is absolutely gorgeous. She could wear a trash bag and guarantee she would make that trash bag look fashion, honey. Stunning. She done went straight designer on us, though. With this new man of hers, y'all. All I see is labels when she posts now. And I thought she was living in Miami, but she's been posting from a home in Charleston. So, I don't know. I don't know. But if you know, let me know. <laughs> now, I know, on a darker note, I know Thomas allegedly took her to court and allegedly got full custody of the kids. Now, Thomas has some connections with the whole court systems because this man was accused of abusing and possessing cocaine, raping a nanny, but the courts give him custody of the kids. Weird flex, but okay. Just proves money talks along with who you know. Now, speaking of courts, y'all, do y'all remember the quote-unquote disgraced politician Catherine was dating allegedly a few years ago? Well... Well, Craig and Madison have joined with Bravo and network producers to demand that a lawsuit brought by Joseph, an ex-boyfriend of Catherine, be dismissed. Attorneys repping the reality TV crew are asking a South Carolina judge to pause the case stemming from remarks made about the politician's PP, according to docs obtained by Radar Online. Yo, this dude 
Ms. Josephka, who currently sits in the Palm Beach County Clerk of Circuit and Court Comptroller seat, filed a civil lawsuit in January 2020 over remarks made on the Bravo reality show. Now, look, him and Catherine met in the fall of 2018, just ahead of season six filming. The duo connected at a Miami Dolphins game, and their romance fizzled in early 2019 after several dates. He accused the defendants of defamation because of aired comments about the personal and professional life. He pointed out that while his romance with the reality star was short, the brief re relationship took center stage on Southern Charm. He also accused Bravo of inventing a false narrative about the ex-couple's decision to split. Well, he's a disgraced politician in Florida, Craig remarked. He's not running for re-election because of his divorce. His wife is accusing him of being physically abusive. Joseph denied Craig's allegations. Catherine's ex Bo also had a problem with a separate conversation between Madison and Chelsea. The women were discussing an alleged leaked nude photo of him when Madison <laughs> Madison said, oh, his PP looks like a Ken doll, like it's just a bulge. Look at that. It's like a mangina. Chelsea <laughs> He claimed that he didn't have time to sign a release pushed on him by Southern Charm producers. He is reportedly angry over how the network portrayed him on the series and is asking for $10 million. Ten million dollars. Well, producers asked the court to press the pause button and either dismiss the case or move it to arbitration. They claim that the politician signed a release that requires disputes to be voiced in a private court. The judge denied the request, and last month, Madison and Craig asked the court to stay in the case to stay the case until an appeal is heard. The court has not issued a decision, and the case continues to move forward. Well, ain't that some tea? Now, in other news, if you didn't know, Patricia's butler, who we all grew to know and love, Michael, suffered a stroke. I know I sent him my well wishes because I always felt so bad for that man and how Patricia treated him, ringing that effing bell to get him to tend to her wants. That was a bit much for me. Now, look, as far as a new season and potential premiere date, I done some research. Southern Charm usually premiered in April or May, but COVID hit last year, which pushed everything back, and the premiere of last season premiered in October of 2020, and the ratings were down tremendously throughout the entire season. They stayed down. Now, I believe filming will start in the fall, and season eight will premiere in April or May of 2022. They're going to go back to them good ratings. If they do, they're going to have to do more than change the premiere dates though getting rid of the political bs will get them ratings back up also being more inclusive with the i don't know normal not just the rich now i'm from the south y'all it you hadn't heard okay if you hadn't heard i'm from the south and this show only represents a very small percentage of southerners i for one watch and sometimes roll my eyes because these folks do not represent southerners at all let me know what you think in the comments because i know a lot a lot of my southern fellow charm viewers are also from the south so what do you think about them you know being more inclusive and like uh the folks who is i don't know everyday working folks <laughs> not just living off a family's money yeah lord and let me know what you think about the new season. You think there's going to be a cash shake-up? What do you think? Please smash that subscribe button and click that little bell so your notifications will be turned on. When you click that little bell over there by the subscribe button, you got to be sure it's clicked to all. That way you will be notified every single time I upload. If you don't click it to all, I don't know when you're going to be uploaded. Probably like once every six months or once a year. I'm not playing. YouTube is shady sometimes, but y'all, I don't want to speak on that, okay? Because I like my job. <laughs> I love you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Hey, please be kind.
and rewind and watch this video about 50 more times. <laughs>